Hey guys, welcome back to another online lesson. This is lesson 1.5. We, we are going to graph ratio tables. But first, got some words to know. Coordinate plane is formed when two perpendicular number lines intersect at their zero points. Coordinate plane is something you've probably worked with before. It is the x and y graph. The zero point is called the origin. So there's my origin right there. The horizontal number line, which is the number line that goes across, that is the x-axis. The vertical number line, which is what goes up and down, that is the y-axis. And then you, when you put the two numbers together, you put x first, then y, both in parentheses, separated by a comma. When you have that, you have an, <coughs> excuse me, an ordered pair. Perfect. This should be a little bit of a, re of a review. You've probably graphed our plotted points before. Um, we're just going to take it to the next level here, but please make sure you have all of these notes down. And let's continue. Okay. So here's an example of a situation you might see where you get a ratio table. And then what you have to do is take the results and plot them on a coordinate plane. So let's look at it. Over here I have number of CDs, which is X, and the cost in dollars, which is Y. So what we're looking at is the cost to create a CD. So one CD costs $3 to create, two CDs, $6 to create, three CDs, $9 to create. Okay, the information's already there. So then what you do is you just take it and turn it into an ordered pair. One, three, two, six, three, nine. Okay. With these ordered pairs, let's graph them. Remember, you crawl before you walk, meaning you use the horizontal line first, then the vertical line. Some people talk about it's like walking into a hotel. You walk into that hotel first, and then you take the elevator up or down. Just another way to think about it. Remember, X first, then Y. Here we go. My first ordered pair is 1, 3. So I start at my origin. I go to 1, and I go 1, 2, 3. So 1, 3 is there. My next is 2, 6. 1, 2, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And I darken my point there. Make sure when you darken your points, they're nice and big and bold so you can look and see them. The next one is 3, 9. 1, 2, 3. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Making sure I'm there. Perfect. We've graphed all our ordered pairs. They're on, the, they're on there. I'll double check. That is 1, 3. I have 2, 6, yep, and last I have 3, 9, yep, perfect. Let's move ahead. All right, this one's a little bit more complicated. <clears throat> Two friends are each saving money from their bank accounts. Marcus saves $10 each week, while David saves $15 each week. So we have two separate charts, one for Marcus, one for David. Make a table for each friend that shows the total amount saved for one, two, three, and four weeks. List the information as ordered pairs. So we have two things we have to do. We have to make a table, and then we have to list the information as ordered pairs. Okay, well, let's get started. Let's look at Marcus first. Here's my weeks, which is X. One week, two week, three week, four week. Then it says total saved in dollars, which is Y. How much does Marcus make? We gotta refer back to the question. Marcus saves $10 each week. Okay, 
So week one, he would save $10. Week two, he would save $20. Notice it just goes up 10. Week three, we go up 10 again to get $30. Week four, we go up 10 for $40. Okay, so we've made the table. Now we have to list them as ordered pairs. Remember, parentheses, x and then y. 1, comma, 10. Always separate with the comma, too. Remember, parentheses, number, comma, number. Parentheses, 2, 20, 2, 20, 3, 30, parentheses, 3, 30, and 4, 40, parentheses, 4, 40. Okay, so Marcus charts done. Let's look at David. <clears throat> Marcus saves $10 each week. David saves $15 each week, so a little bit more money. But we do have weeks one through four. So week one, David would save $15. Now to go to week two, we have to go up 15. 15 and 15 is 30, so week two would be 30. Week three would be 45, and week four would be 60. Okay, table's done. Now let's list this order pair. 115, 230, 345 and 460. Okay, excellent. So that part's done. We've made a table. We've listed the information as ordered pairs. Now let's move on to part two. Graph the ordered pairs for each friend on the same coordinate plane. So here's the coordinate plane. I apologize. I know it's kind of small, so just try to cram your numbers in there. So let's start with Marcus. Notice we have my y-axis is the amount saved in dollars. My x-axis is the weeks. So week one, he was at $10. So week one, he was at 10. Week two, he was at 20. So I go to week two and I go to 20. Week three, he was at 30. Week three, all the way up to 30, perfect. Week four, he was at 40. Week four, he was at 40. Oh, okay. So that is my Marcus line. I'm just gonna label them with little Ms, just so I know that that was Marcus. Uh, for David, I'm just gonna switch color. If you happen to have another uh, pen or if you have a different color pencil around, switch colors. If not, you can just label it with a D. But I'm going to go to David. David, 115. So I'm going to go to 1, and I'm going to go above the 10, below the 20 to 15. Notice there's not a 15 number, so it's halfway between um, 10 and 20, so make sure your point is right there. 230, I go to 2, I go up to 30. Good. Now I go 345, so I go 3, I'm going to go past 40, halfway before 50, and then I'm going to go to 460, 4, and then I'm going to go up to 60, okay? And I'm just going to label these with a D, so we can see that that is David. Graph the order pairs for each friend on the same coordinate plane. Boom, there it is. Now, what does this information tell us? Well, looking at a graph is good because we can see right away that, wow, David is starting to save a lot more money. Notice how the numbers are pretty close in the beginning, but then they get a little further, a little further, a little further. And then you can imagine if the graph kept going, if we went on to week five and week six, they would get further and further separated, showing that David is a much better saver than Marcus. Now. I'm going to zoom in on the camera just so you can get a better look at my graph. I know it's kind of tight on yours, so just make sure your graph kind of looks like this. No, like this. Okay. On to the next one. <clears throat> now, I'm going to walk with you as I erase this. Now, I think on your paper it gets kind of small. 
So I'm going to bring the camera up close so you can get a look at what the question reads. Okay. The table shows the total time it took Samir to read 0, 1, 2, and 3 pages of a book. The table also lists the information as ordered pairs, number of pages, total minutes. Graph the ordered pairs. So what you're going to do is you're going to go over here. Oh, look at that. It's so nice. It gives you the ordered pairs for you. You're going to look at the ordered pairs. You're going to take that information and you're going to put it on that graph right there. Bring the completed graph to class and we'll see you tomorrow.